This is News 2 at 5. You may have noticed dead leaves and twigs at the ends of branches on your trees in your yard recently, and you might have guessed cicadas are to blame. News 2's Davis Nolan explains what they've done to the trees and how much longer these loud insects could be around. Well, this is a perfect example of what the female cicadas did when they laid their eggs by cutting small slits in these tree branches, which are generally the width of a pencil or less. And the good news is most trees are going to survive this type of damage. Wilson County UT Extension agent Lucas Holman says that larger trees will not see any permanent damage. It'll be the younger trees that may see long-term damage, particularly fruit trees trying to establish branches that will hold fruit in future years. Pruning out those dead branches will help the younger trees in the long run. Some homeowners have even taken precautions to protect their younger trees by covering them up. So how much longer will the cicadas be around? Well, they're certainly not as loud as they used to be, and we're seeing a lot of dead ones on the ground. Dr. Medulla Garish, extension specialist with the UT Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology, says we've now passed the peak of this cicada invasion. We saw like a peak activity, like probably like when you see a lot of cicadas in there. But now if you look around, like it's it's that peak has probably gone down and like a lot of adults are like started to die off and once you start this, seeing the egg laying damage, which means that they have already done their purpose, they have laid their eggs, and now it's time for them to say bye. Dr. Garish says that the remaining cicadas that are trying to mate will be around for another two to three weeks. When the eggs hatch, they'll fall out of the branches and burrow into the ground, and we'll see this 13-year brood again in the year 2037. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2.